We need to strengthen our families, okay? That's the first thing we need to do. It's not just the school system that can solve this. Eh? It needs all of us to be there. So reawaken that strengthening of the family because at the family level is whereby the children will learn about virtues and the rest. Also, we need to, instead of glorifying as a society, especially the media, <laughs> glorifying those people who are, okay, you can say these are the fellows who have made it, but you want to tell people the truth. How has so-and-so made his or her money? Okay? Is this person worth emulating? The challenge we have is that people have a certain perception in regards to what will bring them happiness in life. And uh, the main connection is that loss of material wealth equals to so much happiness. Happiness is a state. I can call it a state of contentment because you can have lots of material wealth but you are not even contented. Okay, My approach of teaching, Okay, how do I teach these youngsters? They live in a contemporary world. If you tell them uh, about these are the ideas of Aristotle, these ideas of Plato, these ideas of 1960, they wouldn't be interested at all. They lose the connection. They see that this is something which they are, it's worlds apart because they cannot connect the dots. So I have to restructure my classes the way I teach my classes. Every two weeks we have a video, we watch the video, and it's a contemporary video. Okay, it could be something that has happened recently, probably a certain scandal or what, so I bring it to class. Same time I bring articles to them, uh, we do short discussions in class. But there's always one thing they have to do at the end of the semester. No, two things, two assignments. Uh, the first assignment they have to do is to visit a poor household. Try to understand how do these people try to make it in life. Eh? How do they earn their living? Where do they work? What is their work conditions? So it's about looking at the socioeconomic dynamics and how it affects the poor people. Because the students we teach here, one day they'll become policy makers or they even be making decisions. So do they know how the common people live? For others, I may give them an assignment to visit a company or what, but the biggest assignment I give them is to shoot a video of them discussing one ethical issue. So you can look at ethical issues in HR, finance, okay, you can look at uh, procurement, any of those issues, or even social media. So each group takes one and they shoot a video by the end of the semester. We play the best videos in class. And when they see themselves discussing those issues, now you can see that how are they able to connect the dots. So if they are looking at a case, for example, uh, ethical issues in human resource, they have to bring us a case and discuss the case and offer solutions. So that's the only way that I try to bridge the gap between uh, the theory we learn in class and what's happening there because that is a bridge, trying to introduce them bit by bit.